So Ashra is a demon who has found an artifact, the Chris. It's a mystical sword. And when she slays demons with it, it purifies her soul. So she fights with the Chris all the time. And you could imagine that gives her exceptionally good range. How many, how many bad things do you think she's done that she's constantly having to purify her soul? She is literally a demon from the nether realm. So I think she's been a bad girl. All she's, right. She's, she's, been, she's been through it. All right. She's yeah, done, so done a few bad things. You can see almost all of her normal attacks use her weapon. Like she's got a super good uppercut. Which is going to give her good range yeah, instantly. Yeah, sweep uses her sword. A little bop there. Is that the professional term? Yeah, we, we all know that's the bop. I've played against uh, Dan in cinematics plays a lot of Ashra, and it, the range she keeps you at is, is one of those sort of frustrating ranges. Right. Let's go over her throw. The slashy slash. The slashy slash. We got a bop. We got a slashy slash. Ooh. Little frost throw. And now let's go over special moves because they are very neat. She has a really unique play style. So the first thing she has is projectile, mm -hmm. which is not a typical fast, tiny projectile. It takes up a ton of real estate on screen. It does not go full screen, mm -hmm. and it's not the fastest in the world, but it reaches almost to the top of the screen. So you're not jumping it. Exactly. Right. She, and you're not ducking it. Exactly. <laughs> Good she one, Tyler. also has crisscross, which is a sword slash, which is an excellent combo ender, and control kind of the ground and the air. And what's one of the ways you beat, like, long-range footsie tools? You beat? Beat, yeah, by jumping. Yeah. So you could say crisscross cross makes you... Jump, jump. Wow. You really set these up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't understand why people say this is cringe. I don't get that. <laughs> no, not at all. It's my least favorite term um, on the internet, by the way. <laughs> so, were, did any of the attacks you were just showing have EX versions? Um, yes. In fact, I'll show one right now. The sword uppercut, which mm -hmm. when you EX it, allows her to combo. Awesome. But the projectile and the crissity crossity? They just do more damage. Oh, okay, cool. And I think Chris Cross has a pop-up. Okay, cool. So thanks for reminding me. Yeah, 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 team, no problem. And then lastly, we have the ghost dash. So this is a cool move where she sends a ghost, travels as far as she wants, and she can cancel it. Nope. And she can also do this quicker version that goes behind you. But you're following it. Exactly. Yeah. So, for the most part, she's got a bunch of range attacks. Yes. And she can get distance with her sword attacks. So she really kind of plays that mid to far game. And if you try jumping in at her, she has that special move that just is a rising sword attack that's just then going to allow her to extend air combos. Exactly. Nailed it. But there's one really cool mechanic involved in all this that makes her just an added layer to make her a little bit more in depth. Tell us about that layer. She Let's peel that onion. She tap into her dark side and this changes the properties on most of her special Okay. Layers. Her fireball becomes a ground spark. It can reach full screen. Oh it's geez. A short, medium and far version. Okay. And so that you have to you have to choose which which version, right? Exactly. Gotcha. Pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I gotta turn it back on. All right, gotta turn on the darkness. Her shadow charge completely changes, and now it actually teleports her to the location. Okay. And she can again cancel it. Okay, okay. Or actually go directly to where the ghost is. And she can use that to go behind you, she can cancel it, and she can still do the quick attack. Okay. Now, one thing you might notice is when she's doing these moves, the opponent is getting dark side attached to them. Yeah, those little swirly things around there, right? Exactly, which can stack up to three times. Once she turns back to light, all of her light attacks will then do an actional, or ex extra hit of damage, depending oh. on how many stacks she has. Very cool! That's awesome. Now, some of the, the ghost slashes, uh, can you do any of those in the air, anything like yes. that? Yeah. She can do all the ghost slashes in the air and drop down. Oh, jeez. She can do an attack, she can have combos with it. What can't she do? Pretty much I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think she has a command grab. She does not have a command <laughs> Okay. So, and, and or a pure soul. So playing as her, your your goal is really, you're, you're switching back and forth exactly. and back and forth to get yes. as much damage as you can. Yes, you're going to be wanting to switch it back and forth depending on the range you're at. 
what the enemy's tools are. And you can really mid and, and you're locking them down exactly. with distance anyway, too. So, let's talk about cameos. I chose Frost. Okay. You might be saying, now how am I supposed to be switching in and out in the middle of a fight? Right. He thinks going to be advancing on me. He might do his flying kick, his mm. fireballs, and all that. Well, let's cover a couple of Frost's moves. One is the ground ice, straight from Deadly Alliance. Mm -hmm. Super fast, low combo starter. And it seems to cover like a majority of the screen. Exactly. This is going to be a big time movement check when you're fighting Frost. Mm -hmm. You could let it rip at any time. It's going to be super dangerous. And that's going to keep the opponent on their toes. And then boom, you've hit it. Swap. Exactly. She also has Orby Orb. Orby Orb. Where she sends a frozen orb out. A slow moving orb that'll freeze the opponent if it hits them. And you gotta respect that, that's basically it. Exactly. A perfect time to switch your stance to get your things going. Cool. And then lastly, she has this nope. stalactite move that's a super quick combo ender. Or if she holds it, she gets a secret special fourth move. What? Where she does these stabby stabs. <laughs> and if you block, you can see this has. Can you uh, lock. pick up the controller oh, and block? Yep. This will actually push you full screen and do chip, and that can get you back in range to be going for your. And that's a low out. too that you're doing there. Yes. Yeah. So. And all, um, now the meter burner hold down stabby stab. Did that cost any additional meter or anything like I that? I believe it's still the same as regular. I okay. Believe. I do not have the cooldown time. Tonight. Okay. And also something to mention, you know, still game in progress. Things yeah. are still being tweaked and, yeah. and balanced and whatnot. Totally. So things you see here damage wise and that sort of thing may change, obviously. Yeah. So, so oh, there's a, there's a very good chance. Yes. <laughs> there's a very good chance. Well, I'll to... remember the combo I did back in oh, here 11 goes. That, that just didn't work later. No, I, oh, and the I Dundee. still the Dundee. The yeah, Dundee, and I still hear about it to this day. <laughs> so let's check out our fatal blow. I think the wings are so bad. We're, yeah, huge fan of the wings. It's an audible gap yeah. during the uh, fatality. I, during, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that is Ashra. It is super exciting to have her back. I love how we've, again, taken these almost 20-year-old characters and reimagined them. <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
second Final act. Final round, fight!